Hello, beloved. The children of Reuben and Gad request to stay on the east side of the Jordan, and they're granted permission so long as they help the rest of the children of Israel clear out the land west of the Jordan. And to this they agree. I'm Pastor Steve Billings, and today is Saturday of the week of Pentecost, May 25th, 2024. Let's begin with our opening versicle. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Our psalm for the week is Psalm 139, beginning at verse 1. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You hem me in, behind and before, and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit, or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our hymn for the week is hymn number 497 from Lutheran Service Book, Come, Holy Ghost, God and Lord. Come, Holy Ghost, God and Lord, with all your graces now outpoured on each believer's mind and heart. Your fervent love to them impart. Lord, by the brightness of your light, in holy faith your church unite. From every land and every tongue, this to your praise, O Lord, our God, be sung. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, holy light, guide divine, now cause the word of life to shine. Teach us to know our God aright, and call him Father with delight. From every error keep us free, let none but Christ our Master be, that we in living faith abide. In him our Lord with all our might confide. Alleluia, alleluia. Come, holy fire, come for true. Grant us the will your work to do, and in your service to abide. Let trials turn us not aside. 
Lord, by your power prepare each heart, and to our weakness strength impart, that bravely here we may contend. Through life and death to you, our Lord, ascend. Alleluia, alleluia. Today's reading is from the book of Numbers, the 32nd chapter, beginning at verse 1. Now the children of Reuben and the children of Gad had a very great multitude of cattle. And when they saw the land of Jazer and the land of Gilead, that, behold, the place was a place for cattle, the children of Gad and the children of Reuben came and spake unto Moses and to Eleazar the priest and unto the princes of the congregation, saying, Ataroth and Dibon and Jazer and Nimrah and Heshbon and Eliela and Shebam and Nebo and Baon, even the country which the Lord smote before the congregation of Israel is a land for cattle, and thy servants have cattle. Wherefore, said they, if we have found grace in thy sight, let this land be given unto thy servants for a possession, and bring us not over Jordan. And Moses said unto the children of Gad and to the children of Reuben, Shall your brethren go to war, and shall ye sit here? And they came near unto him, and said, We will build sheepfolds here for our cattle, and cities for our little ones. But we ourselves will go ready armed before the children of Israel, until we have brought them unto their place. And our little ones shall dwell in the fenced cities because of the inhabitants of the land. We will not return unto our houses until the children of Israel have inherited every man his inheritance." For we will not inherit with them on yonder side Jordan, or forward, because our inheritance is fallen to us on this side, Jordan eastward. And Moses said unto them, If ye will do this thing, if ye will go armed before the Lord to war, and will go all of you armed over Jordan before the Lord, until he hath driven out his enemies from before him, and the land be subdued before the Lord, then afterward ye shall return and be guiltless before the Lord, and before Israel. And this land shall be your possession before the Lord. But if ye will not do so, behold, ye have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out. Build you cities for your little ones, and folds for your sheep, and do that which hath proceeded out of your mouth. And the children of Gad and the children of Reuben spake unto Moses, saying, Thy servants will do as my Lord commandeth. Our little ones, our wives, our flocks, and all our cattle shall be there in the cities of Gilead. But thy servants will pass over every man armed for war before the Lord to battle, as my Lord saith. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe in God the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people, and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, who have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O God, On this day you once taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit. Grant us in our day by the same Spirit to have a right understanding in all things and evermore to rejoice in his holy consolation. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today the Holy Church rejoices to remember Bede the Venerable, theologian. We turn once again to Celebrating the Saints by William Whedon. The Venerable Bede was born in Northumberland, England, around A.D. 672. He never traveled more than a hundred miles from his place of birth, yet this monk's reputation as theologian and historian spread throughout Europe and the world. His parents sent him to the monastery at Monk Wermouth at age seven. When a sister monastery was founded in present-day Jarrow, Bede was transferred there. In 686, plague swept through the monastery, and for a time only two monks survived to carry on the round of singing together the daily office. One of them was Cleofrith, the abbot, the other a young boy of fourteen. That would be Bede. He was made a deacon in 692, and at age thirty he was ordained a priest. He labored in the monastery in preaching, teaching, and above all, writing. His commentaries on Scripture proved popular throughout the Middle Ages and remain a source of inspiration and insight to this day. He excelled in music and poetry, particularly working in his native English. Perhaps his most famous writing is the thorough and careful history of the English church. The man's piety shines in his observation, at least in the northern hemisphere, that the church observes the feast of St. John's Nativity in the days when the sun's light begins to diminish, and our Lord's Nativity in the days when the light grows, since I must decrease, but he must increase. The account of the Venerable Bede's death on the Feast of the Ascension, May 26, A.D. 735, shows nearly everything one needs to know about this great man. He was still at work on an English translation of John's Gospel, with a young lad acting as his scribe. His strength was waning fast. He finished it, then fell to the floor of his cell, singing the Gloria Patri. And that is how he died. He was buried in Jarrow. However, his remains were later moved to the great cathedral in Durham. Fitting, since he died upon the Feast of the Ascension, that our hymnal includes his Ascension Day hymn, A Hymn of Glory Let Us Sing. Bede's life and ministry are an invitation for us and all people to join this humble monk who delighted in the Word of God and in singing unending glorious to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, receive this day our thanks for your servant, the Venerable Bede. Even as he took great delight in your word and sought to teach your ways with zeal, so may your people today follow his example and to our dying breath proclaim the great things you have done. Through Jesus Christ, our risen and ascended Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 
We conclude today, as always, with Luther's morning prayer. Let us pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, order our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. God bless your day, beloved.